पंद्रह सौ प्री लोडेड गानो वाला की पैड फोन धमाकेदार साउंड के साथ कारवा मोबाइल हाय माय नेम इज अल्पा कपाडिया तेली आई एम सर्टिफाइड लीडरशिप एंड लाइफ कोच टुडे वी हैव विद अस अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट आरती खुराना आरती इज एन एस्टेब्लिश टैरो कार्ड रीडर शी इज एन एक्सेस बार्स एंड अ बॉडी प्रोसेस प्रैक्टिशनर यस आई नो दैट प्रोबेबली साउंड कंफ्यूजिंग टू यू राइट नाउ but we'll get right into what access bars are all about in just a minute so arthi worked in the corporate world for 15 years and just 2 years ago she quit her corporate job to follow her passion to follow her gift her gift of intuition arthi spent a lot of her formative years in the united states and she brings a great blend of eastern and western philosophy to her practice here Arthi is a very popular tarot card reader and a access bars practitioner in Mumbai and I requested her to come and share with us what access bars are because access bars are not very well known in India yet but it's a beautiful healing modality and I think we all should know a little bit more about it so welcome Arthi we're very happy to have you thank you i'm happy to be here so Arthi my first question to you is you quit your corporate career of 15 years to follow this passion it's not a very easy decision to make so what is it that prompted you to take this up as a profession well that's an interesting question um alpa a lot of people have asked me that actually uh i was working for over 15 years uh i was an executive assistant and i used to report to c suite executives like managing directors and partners now imagine managing the offices of such senior people the stress levels were hitting the roof and honestly over a period of time i felt that i wasn't bringing any value to the company i wasn't feeling the joy in working there and i just just thought that you know my life's purpose is something bigger and better and i've always wanted to be in a line of work where i'm helping people because i also practice a lot of spirituality and i felt that my life's mission should be in line with my uh spirituality as well and uh, i just took the leap of faith one day and decided that i didn't want to do this anymore tarot is something i have been doing for over 12 years but that was always on the side it was never my full time profession so i decided to quit my job and start doing tarot full time then over a period of time i realized that i needed to add something more to what i was already doing and tarot in alone was not going to be enough so i decided to do multiple classes with access and i took to it like fish takes to water and i'm really really happy to be doing that okay so my next question is what are access bars access bar started in the us in the 1990s and it was started by a gentleman called gary douglas uh access bars are 32 points or bars of energy that run all around our head the 32 bars uh, represent the different areas of our life so it could be money relationships health communication joy sadness and those points or bars also hold the energy the beliefs uh, the points of view the emotions we have had in these areas over lifetimes so a lot of the feelings we feel about different things in our life doesn't come from this life for example a 2 year old child being scared of a dog that fear has not necessarily come from this life or somebody growing up say a 7 year old or a 10 year old saying that you know i have less confidence or i don't have high self esteem that feeling has not necessarily come from this lifetime or it could even be someone who's had maybe one bad relationship but they say my relationships never work out so a lot of these very very strong beliefs that we have which are not necessarily working in our favor don't come from this lifetime of course a lot of experiences that we go through also happen in this lifetime so for example say we have a bad breakup the pain we feel the hurt we feel goes and gets stored as energy in that particular bar and we start reacting to situations based on that subconscious energy that's already there and we don't even know it so when a practitioner runs bars so running bars is really touching on those 32 points while the person is lying down and releasing any blocked energy in those areas so then things start opening up in their life so that's pretty much what access bars is so what do access bars help us with what areas of life do they benefit can they benefit people access bars is such a beautiful modality and i'm honestly so happy to be practicing it because it literally helps in all areas of our life so like i told you earlier the 32 bars are really the different areas of our life right so 
I've had people come to me with all kinds of different issues. So it can help you in terms of, you know, if you're feeling sad, if you're, you know, you have, uh, you know, maybe beliefs about happiness, which are not very good. Uh, it can help with communication. It can help in your relationships. Uh, it can also help if, you know, say you are not making enough money or, you know, you want to maybe create multiple streams of revenue. Uh, it can help if someone's trying to get pregnant. I mean, it helps in literally every area of your life. There is no area that bars can't help in. So this sounds very interesting. How is this different from the other healing modalities like say Reiki or Pranic healing? Um, so yes, there are so many healing modalities out there. There is Reiki, there's Pranic healing, there are, there are so many others. So the way I would say that is different from these modalities, so for example, Reiki, right? So Reiki is basically uh, the practitioner takes the universal life force energy and transmits it to the client by touch therapy. And Reiki is largely based on balancing the seven chakras. Pranic healing, uh, you know, is basically the concept of that is it's a no touch therapy. Yes, it's also an energy based therapy because prana means energy. And the way they do it is or rather they believe is that the body itself has the capacity to heal itself. So it's a little bit different. Um, access bars is largely on uh, based on those 32 bars that I've been speaking about for some time now. And it's about running the bars, it's about uh, releasing all the stuck energy or the blocked energy in those areas. So in the different areas of our lives, blocks can open up. What really happens is that our beliefs shift because when we are releasing the stuck or blocked energy, the beliefs shift in those areas. And because the beliefs shift, we are able to manifest things that were blocking us earlier. So what are <clears throat> the advantages of this kind of a therapy? Uh, well, what I would like to say is that the advantages of this kind of therapy and which is why I really, I wouldn't say promote it, but I'm so passionate about it is that, you know, a lot of times if say I've had people come to me for depression, you know, to be on medication is not something I really suggest or something I really feel good about telling people. But in this kind of a therapy, you're feeling completely great. Uh, I've had clients come to me who are suffering with severe depression and this is medicine free no equipments, nothing, and it's an all natural therapy. So I feel that, you know, this is the best way to be reaching out to people because you're helping and healing people with no medication at all. Can you give us some examples of how this has helped your clients? I think the most amazing thing about being in this line of work is when, you know, clients give you feedback about the way they are feeling. And I, as a person, I am very much in touch with my clients. Even after a session, I reach out to them. I check on them. You know, I don't have to go the extra mile, but I just like doing it because I like having a personal one-on-one -on -one equation with my clients, which is why I know so many of their success stories. Uh, I've had clients come to me for different reasons. So I had this one client who was suffering from social anxiety. From childhood, he couldn't be around people. He couldn't talk to people. Like he didn't know how to socialize in a public place. He probably did maybe 10 to 15 sessions with me. And with the day he did his last session, he said to me, he said, Aarti, you've changed my life. I feel like a completely different person. And I don't have any issues being around people and being social and being communicative. So that to me, uh, you know, felt so good because I feel like when people come to me and tell me how they are feeling so much better somewhere, it's a victory for me as well. Uh, another client of mine, she was having a lot of uh, issues getting pregnant and she came to me for multiple sessions and, uh, you know, she was trying everything under the sun, the IUI, IVF, none of that was working. And maybe it was a mix of this and that. I don't know. Uh, I can't completely take the credit for everything, but uh, it definitely helped. And she got pregnant very soon after she came to me. Uh, another client of mine, he was unemployed for six years. He didn't have a job. And he was really struggling with money and uh, he came to me and after one session actually he manifested a job. So clearly that tells us that you know uh, he must have had such wrong beliefs about lack of money, of lack of abundance or not having uh, you know a job and that completely shifted and you know I guess in one session uh, it moved for him. And I would say that you know a lot of people you have to be a very aware person to realize the changes that happen uh, when you get an access bar session run. And if you're not such an aware person, one session may not cut it for you. I always recommend three, but of course, to each person, it's different. Uh, but anyhow, getting back to what you were asking me about my clients, uh, I've had a lot of people come to me with relationship problems. So they keep attracting the same kind of relationships into their life and they wonder why things are not moving for them. So that's a pattern, right? And uh, through access bars, I guess uh, what happens is, you know, the, the button in your head that says or the voice in your head 
that says I can't or this is okay or like it's all right to be treated badly in relationships to each person it's different but the voice that says that lack is okay goes away it's like a delete button on a computer so when you don't think that you're not good enough anymore and you think that you're amazing obviously those patterns will change so literally I have seen people uh, really really change their lives because they've changed their beliefs in practically every area of their life so Aarti, tell us, who is this for? Is it only for unwell people? Is it for people who are going through some kind of change? Is it for people who have a problem? For whom is Access Bars the most useful for? So my target audience really is anybody and everybody. So there's no particular uh, person who needs to come to me or doesn't need to come to me. I would just say that any person who wants to create change in their life, who's willing to step up and accept that change and become more conscious as a person, is my target audience. So it could be anybody who wants to see change in any aspect of their life. Sometimes it could be that I'm not confident, you know, I'm, I'm nervous around people or I don't feel good about myself. I have very low self-esteem. It could be anything from that to bigger things. So anybody who wants to step up and see change, it should come to me and try out a session. Thank you very much, Aarti. It was a very, very informative session and I've personally experienced access bars with you and I can vouch for it that it was really very powerful and a very healing experience. So I would definitely recommend it. Thank you for having me here. I'm really happy that I was able to share a little knowledge I have about this with all your viewers and listeners. So I hope all of you have learned a little bit more about what access bars are. And if it's something which interests you, do reach out to Arti. And that's me, your friendly neighborhood life coach, Alpa, signing off.
的。